Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got some more run plays for you today out of the best running playbook in the game. Uh, so basically, every couple of days I like to put out a, a run play, and then every couple of days I like to put out a pass play. So I'm going to be doing the, the Ravens quite a bit because they are without a doubt the most overpowered running playbook in the game. The pistol formations alone would get them that honor because there's so many great run plays out of that. Uh, but today I'm going to be focusing on a more traditional one, uh, and that's the strong power eye. Now the power eye was put into the play into the game last year. It was it's only found in the Ravens playbook. You can't find this formation anywhere else, as far as I know. I might have added it to something, but last year it was only in the Ravens playbook. This was so trash last year. It was it was it was un, it was unplayable because it just wasn't like the blocking. You have a lot of extra blocking, but it really wasn't doing anything. So they must have not like they must have snuck it in the game and not programmed it right. This year it's completely over overpowered. So it's like they really really fixed it this year. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pick a couple of run plays and a couple of pass plays. The pass plays are probably gonna be just on my Patreon. Uh, I don't even know which one's the best one. I'm gonna start off with the power O though. This is a really good run play here. So we'll pick that. Uh, before we get into the video though, if you guys want to help me out, really help this channel out, just scroll down a little bit and hit the like button. Help me out with that because I'm trying to hook you guys up best I can, so hook me up back. Other than that, likes, shares, comments, all that stuff helps this channel out immensely. And if you like what you see, stick around by hitting the subscribe button. So let's go ahead and let's pick random 4-3 on defense. So like I was saying, last year this, this looked really overpowered, but it wasn't. It was like you have all this extra blocking, but it really didn't do anything. This year, it's like they actually programmed the blocking right. You see, first run was really easy. All, the blocking just set up perfectly. There's no real adjustments needed on a play like this. The only thing I would say is we get a huge outside lane. Uh, is you want to lay off the sprint button uh, to start because a lot of times you have slow linemen getting in front of you. As you can see, we're just getting a huge lane right there. Uh, but like I said, if I if I sprint too quickly, I'm gonna I'm gonna run into problems. You can see right there. I've just got I just gotta wait for the bodies to hit the floor basically. So nothing really to it other than that. Just save your sprint button. That's really the best way to say it. So right here, I mean, I actually kind of wasted it, but I I, I should have waited for the linemen to get in front of me. That's the thing. You need fast linemen for this. I don't even think this this is a very uh, explosive play compared to some of the other plays. This is just like one of the more consistent. I actually think there's more explosive plays in this formation, but this is definitely good for me, a good play to start with. As you can see, we're really getting a lot of uh, of really big carries. So right here, like I said, the way that blocking sets up is just beautiful. And if I had a, a little bit of a fast guy, if I had my work done for Mutt, this would be a house call. So like I said, the blocking is insane. Uh, you see how this guy just kicks out. I mean, this is just incredible. Like there's just there's just perfect blocking setting up every time. So the blocking on this is just great. Let's go ahead and let's let's go to the next play. This play is probably the most explosive, and that's the halfback toss. I don't even think halfback tosses are really that good this year, but this one's really good. So we're gonna go. We're gonna pick that. Before I do that, I just want to make sure I have all my uh, best blockers in the game because I didn't do that to start. And this is guy. This guy here is really the one. I guess he's the best. I don't know if Nick Boyle's any good. We're gonna go and keep it there. So I don't really care for toss plays. That's something that uh, you know they just the blockers for the most part just seem to get lost. But the blocking on this formation, they just seem to have like heat-seeking blocking that really sets up well, uh, you know, majority of the time. And that includes the toss plays. Like I said, that's pretty rare uh, as we get a guy out in front of me here. But like I said, I, I just a lot of times if you get that edge one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to make a guy miss. You're going to be fine. But ultimately, the blocking on this is, like I said, I mean, it's just it just sets up so well. And I'm just getting these huge outside run lanes. Like I said, if I had, like, elite speed, it'd be, I'd be toasting this defense even more. I still find, like, the best plays, though, are probably ones that have less pulling and blocking. So the halfback blast is probably one of the best ones on here. This is one of the few plays that's designed to go in the opposite direction, uh, which is, you know, which is good because you're going to need to keep your opponent honest. They're going to constantly be trying to take away the strong side. So hitting him with a blast is good, but you can also flip this play and run it to the strong side. So you'll have that additional blocking once again. Then you can see when I do flip it to the strong side, there's nothing but space. So we're going to get our first home run here. Like I said, this one might be the most consistent because of the, lacking, the lack of pulling blocking. I mean, I think that those man-on-man those -man, uh, blocking is really where it's at. And then I would have had a touchdown here, but one of my blockers just got lost and he ran backwards. But that was that was another touchdown in the bag. So this one right here, like I said, this is probably uh, probably the best one. The, the, the lack of pulling is probably what makes this so good and so consistent. And like I said, I'm going short side, which most people aren't going to expect. So I'll go strong side a couple times. Uh, and I'll go weak side. But like I said, the blocking is just incredible. 
it just it just suctions everybody in and it just controls where they're going i mean this is just as good as it gets so we'll go we'll go short side again not a lot of gaps you can see like the way that this is setting up and if that block would have held out i'd have been gone again but you can see i mean i'm doing a lot of there's not a lot of gaps i'm not running at gaps it's not like last year where i would aim at the gap that i'm aiming at now like it doesn't even matter like the gaps do what they do and you can see there with the, when the gaps there it actually closes up this is actually working better when there's no gap so i'm gonna go ahead, i'm gonna run it right towards uh right towards the muscle here and then like i said i mean this is just like, i'm getting huge inside runs so like i said i mean you don't have to like aim at gaps you just have to just just oh my god we can get cook oh, come, come on man i'm just trying to house call another one let's go but like i said super consistent i mean this is a cheat code you're, you're, you're absolutely going to average. Uh, uh, you can have a serious average here. Come on, bro. You just missed that block and I got around it anyway. So we might have another house call. Oh, my God. Like, that dude came out of nowhere. But like I said, this is this is such a fun formation run. It's so OP. There's nothing really to this. You're just you're just hitting homers. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, if you guys want to see more run plays from the Ravens, uh, this is definitely uh, the best playbook, like I said, for running in the game. And I'm going to be using it quite a bit in gameplays in the future coming up. So that's it. That's the video. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.